What's up? How's everybody doing? I already know this finna be on some bogusness, so I'm not gonna get too hyped. I'm gonna listen to this song right here. Uh, try that in a small town. Everybody and their granny is mad. They, they say it's racist. I've not really paid attention to this song. I'm not really a country music buff, but I do sing country music karaoke and I will bring tears to your eyes. Having said that, I'm gonna listen to this song, man, and um, I'm gonna see what the hoopla is. But I will tell you this, man. I do notice that black people get in their feelings about nothing. I got a strong, strong feeling this is gonna be some more nothing. There's a difference between having a problem with actual things and being angry for the sake of being angry so somebody will look at you hoping to give you a little bit of attention. And I don't know this song, but I got a feeling. That's what I'm about to run into. When I get through listening to it, man, I'm gonna, um, cause I heard, this is the only thing I know. I know that the courthouse that he's standing in front of was used to lynch a black man or boy in 1927. That's what I know. That's that's the details I know. Now, having said that, having said that, I would like to point out to the black community that there's probably not very many pieces of the South where you won't find that kind of thing having been the case. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's hundreds and hundreds of years of history with that kind of thing, right? You know? If you want to be mad at something, geez, man, pick something real. I'm going to listen to this song, man.
Alright. Alright. Alright, man. I listened to everything that was in there. Uh, if, if, if something happened during the playing of that song where it was distorted or something like that, excuse me, I got like a gang of subwoofers in here. But... Oh man, just give me a second. Rappers and various other music makers make songs, black people, make songs about what you can and can't do in their neighborhood all the time. They're significantly more vulgar than this song even pretends to be. You know? All that man said was, hey, listen, all that all that stuff I hear y'all doing in the city, you robbing, you robbing uh, the liquor store, looting in your own community, you know, carjacking folk. Try that down here where we all care about one another and everybody look out for each other. That's all that man said. What's the problem? Okay, he, so, I, you know what? I bet you he probably didn't even know that that building had a history, you know. You know what? I wish I wish black people would focus more on relevant things than this kind of stuff right here, man. It just makes it it makes it more difficult to listen to you when you finally do make a point. This ain't it. This ain't it. I I stand behind what he said, and I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told you about the last guy. I don't know this dude. I don't know his catalog of music. But I like this song and I, I respect what he said and I fully understand it because I don't live in a small town, but I live in a small suburb in a big city. And uh, you can't pull that nonsense around here either. Try it. Try it around here. See if we don't give you the same repercussions that he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Find out. It's simple. He, what is your problem, man? What's your, you know what? I, I blame, I blame, I fully blame Black Lives Matter movement, bro. I fully blame it because it is, to me, the beginning of all the nonsense, right? Because, you know, they, they created this thing where you believe that they give a damn about you. They don't care about you. You know, they just they just want to be present when you get angry and uh, they want to protest and they want to do all that with you so they can get your, your shenanigans on camera. I said it before and I'll say it again. If Black Lives Matter was a real thing, <laughs> if it were real. I don't see how the streets of Chicago would ever be empty and devoid of protesters because you'd be in front of the gangsters houses. You'd be in front of the murderers' houses. You wouldn't just stand in front of the police station or some white dude who 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 killed somebody. You wouldn't be doing that. George uh, Sim George Zimmerman is still alive, so I know y'all y'all know y'all bogus. I just I just kind of feel like there's a better way. What what are you are you just wanting attention? Is that what it is? You just want attention? Try that in a small town. It's not a racist song. There's nothing racist in it. There's nothing racist about it. You know what I mean? There are a whole catalog of rap music and rap songs by black men that tell you pretty much the same message. Try that in my neighborhood. Don't come around here with that foolishness. That kind of thing. Why come he can't do it? Why he can't do it? Because he because he's somewhere where somebody where a black man got killed. It was in 1927. That man couldn't be no more older than mid 70s, early 80s birth. So let me get up out of here, bro. Get up out of here with that nonsense, bro. I'm so sick and tired. I'm, I'm gonna be blunt right now. Uh, I'm so sick and tired of you niggas with the nonsense, bro. It's like. It's like, and I'm, I told you, I'm gonna be, it's like you like a female or a baby. You just want something to cry about, something to whine about, and get and get attention for what? 
and hoping somebody jump on what you're saying, bro. You not even understand how stupid you sound? And let me tell you something, man. I can't help but notice how many white folks it is jumping on the thing because black folks is on it. You know, they hoping that it get a little bit of juice so they can... <sighs> There's nothing wrong with the song. It's not racist. He know what his community is. We know what ours is. We say the same thing that he say. Don't come around here with that bull crap, bro. Try it around here and see what happens to you. You won't leave. That man said you won't. He said, see how far you make it down the road. It won't be long. We say the same thing, bro. Same exact thing. We come through here with that nonsense. You ain't gonna make it to the stop sign. This I can guarantee you. Stop just jumping on the bandwagon, man. Stop it. Even if he did know what that courthouse's history was, he wasn't talking about it. He wasn't even he wasn't even trying to be offensive to black folk. He was just saying, try that nonsense out here. See what happens. And I agree with him. I live in a small community in a big city. Come out here with your foolishness. See what happens. Now, I ain't going to tell you about that because you two probably won't like it. But there have been some casualties out here with that nonsense. All right. Get over yourself. There's nothing wrong with the song, right? We live in an age where you just want to be mad about something. You're just trying to be angry about something, you know? And the fact that there's nothing to be mad about tells me how much you got going on in your life. Nothing. You woke up this morning and said, let me find it. Let's be mad about that, All right? You're lame for that. There's nothing wrong with this song. There's no reason to, to label a man there's no reason to put a stain on a man because he did something that uh, you trying to find a reason to hate for no reason at all. Now, see me, I'm not rich and famous. Well, I'm not famous, but no, I'm not rich and famous, but, uh, I just don't, I don't get, I don't get you people. I don't get you people. I don't understand you people at all. I don't understand nothing about you. If you one of those who, who, who have a problem with this song because of the history of a building that he filmed in front of, I think you need to go ahead and check yourself into a mental institution, right? Get on some, get on some good old meds, sit down and shut up. I think you do the world a favor because we don't need to hear from you. Your voice means nothing. I'm telling you that to your face. That's Tennessee, and that's me on that. I'm out.